Hallo, guten Tag. Heute sehen wir das Thema Wechselpräpositionen. Die Präpositionen, die man mit Dativ und mit dem Akkusativ benutzt. In English we call them the changing prepositions because these prepositions can be used either in Dativ or in Akkusativ. Let us see how they work. Es gibt insgesamt neun Präpositionen, die kann man mit Dativ und Akkusativ benutzen. Und die Präpositionen sind in, an, auf, über, unter, vor, hinter, neben und zwischen. Das Fragwort wo benutzt man für Dativ und das Fragwort wohin benutzen wir für Akkusativ. There are certain ver verbs also which are used in Dativ and Akkusativ. For Dativ we have sein that is to be, stehen is to stand, liegen that is to lie or to situate, sitzen that is to sit and hangen that is to hang and for accusative the verbs are gehen and kommen and apart from that we have stellen is to keep legen is to put setzen setzen is to make someone sit and hängen is to hang something. If you have seen here, hängen can be used both in dative as well as in accusative. Hängen benutzt man im dative und auch im accusative. Now let's see how the articles we use in dative and accusative. As you know, the dative articles are them there them and in plural they are then plus n and for accusative as you know there is only a change in the masculine article there changes to then das and the remain the same there is no change and also in the plural there is no change plural the remains the itself and the same thing happens with the Unbestimmte Artikel. Ein becomes einem in Dative. Das again einem and die becomes einer. There is no plural form. And same is in Akkusative. Only change is in masculine article. Ein becomes einen. Das that is ein remains ein and einer remains einer. There is no change in feminine articles. And as you know, there are no plural unbestimmte article for this. In the previous slide, I had given you the idea of the nine prepositions we use in Vexel prepositions. The nine Vexel prepositionen sind in, that is in in English. Then haben wir an und auf. Both of they mean on in English, right? But an is used for a vertical surface as you see here. And auf is used when you put something horizontally. You get the difference? An and auf both have the meaning on in English. But an is used for putting something vertically. And auf is used to put something horizontally. Dann haben wir vor. Vor is in front. Hinter is behind. Then we have über. Über is over. There is a gap between two objects, right? That is called über. Dann kommt unter. Unter is below. When you put something below something. Neben 
is near, nearby. And Zwischen is in between. Zwischen shows in between. Jetzt sehen wir, wie man wo Dativ benutzt. So hier seht ihr ein Bild. Anja macht eine Party. Was ist wo? If you see this picture, the room is so kept with proper order. Yeah, the things are kept in a proper order here. So their computer. Where is the computer? Er steht auf dem Schreibtisch. If you see, the position of the computer is been kept on the writing table. Wo steht der Computer? The question word wo shows you dative case. And the computer is on the writing table. Er steht auf dem Schreibtisch. Their Tisch changes to them Tisch in dative. That is what we have seen in the earlier slide. The Tasche. Wo is the Tasche? The Tasche is auf dem Stuhl. Die Tasche ist auf dem Stuhl or sie liegt auf dem Stuhl. It is lying on the chair. Their Stuhl again changes to them. And if you see here, the preposition auf is used. As you know, as I told you, auf is used to keep something on something in a horizontal position. So the computer is put in a horizontal position. The bag is also kept in the horizontal position, right? Wo ist die Gitarre? Where is the guitar? Sie hängt an der Wand. It is already been hanging there on the wall, right? So, the Wand, that is the wall, changes to their Wand. The changes to their in dative. The preposition an is used to keep something vertically, right? Was in the Bücher. Where are the books? Sie liegen auf dem Tisch. They are lying on the table. Auf dem Tisch. Their Tisch changes to them here again. Their Stuhl. Wo is the Stuhl? Where is the chair? Er steht vor dem Schreibtisch. It is standing or it is placed in front of the writing table. Four is in front and the lamper wo is the lamper sie steht neben dem bett stehen is to stand always comes in dative so sie steht neben near dem bett das bett changes to dem bett in dative and how do you understand that we are using only dative here with the question word wo, right? Wo is where. It always shows you the position. So, dative shows you the position of the things and then we use the dative articles after the prepositions. Yeah. Und nach der Party. Jetzt sieht das immer so aus. Die Freunde stellen die Sachen Irgendwo hier aus. Wohin haben die Freunde die Sachen gestellt und gelegt? Den Computer. Die Freunde haben den Computer unter den Tisch gelegt. Wohin haben die Freunde die Tasche gestellt? Die Tasche ist ins Regal. In das Regal. Regal has the article das. It has no change in accusative. Das Regal remains das only and the short form we have used is ins Regal. It is in das Regal. As I told you, wohin is the question word which shows you accusative case which is always an action. So, when an action is performed, we use accusative and the articles also are in accusative here after the preposition. Wohin haben die, die Freunde die Gitarre gestellt? 
the guitar was here previously on the wall and now it is under the bed unter das bett no change in the article das bett remains das bett debusher debusher is in unter den tisch they are under the table their tisch changes to den wohin haben die freunde den stuhl gestellt the stool the chair was here in front of the table and now it is on the bed so it is auf das bett das bett no change in the article article changes only for the masculine noun not for the neutral and for the feminine nouns and these sedes for das regal in front of the shelf das regal is das regal no change for that also is it clear to everyone so wo question word shows you dative which is position and the question word wohin shows you accusative which is always an action the prepositions are the same but they are changing their articles depending on the case for dative they are showing the position and they are using accusative when the action is shown so jetzt kommt meine beobachtung now my observation comes dash 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 un dash sin prepositionen so which of the following are the prepositions of course an neben auf zwischen and hinter they are all the prepositions of course right now here we have wohin and here we have wo wohin shows accusative wo shows dative wohin shows action wo shows position that you know now so in then setzen a gibt es ot wechsel there is change in the position von einem ot zum anderen also die frage ist wohin wohin kommt die gitarre nach den präpositionen steht der artikel im akkusativ absolutely correct and here in den setzen position gibt es eine position feste orte fix fix positions the frage is also wo zum beispiel wo liegt die gitarre where is the guitar nach den prepositionen steht der artikel im dative the articles goes in the dative case and this is what we have done so far folgende sätze zeigen position oder aktion bitte uh, sie beantworten die fragen wo oder wohin sortiere sie und ergänze die tabelle das seht ihr auf dem foto what is this accusative or dative of course this is dative the articles themselves are showing that and the position is mentioned zwischen den kindern sits mein mann my husband is sitting in between the kids if you remember this passage uh, is from the passage we have seen in the textbook in lesson number 1 and the sentences are from that particular passage itself so my husband is sitting in between my children again the position is shown so the dative case is used in plural form for this photo habe ich vor dem fiaker gestanden i am standing in front of the couch for the photo i am standing no that shows you the position for them fiaker their fiaker changes to them so dative case is used where the 
position is shown. Wir sind über die Ringstraße gefahren und dann in die Innenstadt gekommen. Of course the action is shown. We have gone somewhere and then we have come somewhere. So what is showing? It's an action. Die Fiaker stehen direkt am Stephansdom, am Petersplatz und am Burgtheater. Of course, stehen vaparle. Stehen is to stand, which shows you the position, right? So dative case is used, and an dem Stefan do, Stefan's dome changes to am as a short form, right? So an dem Petersplatz changes to am Petersplatz. Same way, the short forms are used everywhere. Ich bin lange vor dem schönen Kunstwerken stehen geblieben. Stehen bleiben, of course, to stand, which is dative case. Position has been shown. Dative case in plural form is used here. Im Biergarten hat mein Mann eine Schweinshaxe gegessen. Der Prater liegt mitten im Grünen. Im in dem Biergarten. Position is shown, right? So, dative case is used. And in dem has changed to im as a short form. Auf jeder Etage findet man eine andere Art. Again, position is shown. Die Etage changes to there. Auf jeder. Auf jeder Etage. Right? Position is been shown over here also. And this is how we use the dative for showing the position and we use accusative when an action is performed. Same again we have a exercise here. Wo, wohin, dative or accusative. This thing is your homework. Right? You just have to mention whether it is a dative case or it is accusative case. I'll just do one or two sentences with you, the first two ones and the rest you can solve as your homework. By this time you know that wo is the question word for dative, that is position and wohin is the question word for accusative which shows you the action. Please understand all the nine prepositions can be used either in dative or in accusative. What changes is the article depending on the case which we are using. Okay. So now let's understand. Das Bild hängt an der Wand. The picture is hanging on the wall. What is shown here? Is that an action or position? Of course, there is a position of the picture is shown which is on the wall. Article for wall is the Wand. And in dative, it changes to there. We have seen the dative articles, them, there, them, then plus n. So, the one changes to there. So, thus bill hanged and there one. Of course, the preposition is used an and not auf. Because you must be remembering me saying, an is used to show something vertical position. And auf is used to show something which is horizontally positioned. So, here an their wand is used. And in the second sentence, ich hänge das Bild an die wand. Now tell me whether it is an action or position. Yes, now it is an action. I am hanging the picture on the wall. I am doing the action. So when the action is performed, we use the articles in accusative case. The case which is used is accusative. Though the preposition remains the same, the case changes, right? And the one remains the one. There is no change into it. So, we say thus, ich hänge das Bild an the one. And this is how you will be now just find, find out whether these actions or these are the positions. That is your homework. I hope uh, it's now clear to you how we use these prepositions. First of all, was müssen, müsst ihr machen? Ihr müsst alle die Präpositionen gut üben. You have to learn the prepositions. 
Es gibt nein Wechselpräpositionen. Und dann müsst ihr verstehen, ob man Dativ benutzt oder man Akkusativ benutzt. Dativ zeigt uns die Position und Akkusativ benutzen wir, wenn dort ein Aktion ist. Right? So you will be using Dativ when we use the, the position and Akkusativ when we use the action in the sentences. I hope it is clear to you. Auf Wiedersehen. Vielen Dank für Ihre Aufmerksamkeit. Bitte versucht jetzt ihr, die Wechselpräposition in den Sätzen zu benutzen. Dankeschön.